Now I want to talk about um, Taylor and the main reason that Stacy came here was to do a surrogate session and connect with Taylor. Do you have anything to say first before allowing us to connect with her? I love her. She's awesome. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So would you allow me now to connect with Taylor's higher self? Yes. And tell me when, when she's here. Yeah. Thank you. Is this Taylor? Yeah. Hi, Taylor. How are you? Good. How are you feeling? Fun. You feeling like you're having fun? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Taylor, we want to find out today why it is that you chose to have this happen to you? Well, somebody had to wake her up. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. She just didn't get it. Is this your mom? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me what it is that she didn't get. I tried to tell her when I was little and she wouldn't listen. She didn't want to, she didn't, she didn't realize, she didn't understand the spirit world. Mm -hmm. She didn't, she didn't get it. Like she used to when she was a kid, she forgot. Hmm. She needed to remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you were little, the whole idea was to wake up your mom? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell me why you chose to, to do it this way. She needed to learn a lot. Mm -hmm. She had a lot of, she has a lot of people she's come in contact with. She's got to got to tell them so they can tell their kids. So they're awake for their kids. Mm -hmm. So they they get to be, they get to have fun in the spirit world with their kids. Mm -hmm. And they just, they don't know what they're missing if they don't wake up. Do you feel you're missing anything? Mm. I mean, I like to run again. Mm -hmm. Ride my bike. Well, I know your brother wants you to get better too. Yeah, I will. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you had to teach your dad? Um, he used to take more responsibility. Mm -hmm. Like he just, he's fun, but he doesn't take take much responsibility for stuff. Mm -hmm. Like he always relies on somebody else. Mm -hmm. Now, Taylor, you said that you wanted to. Uh, you were going to get better once your dad believed in you that you were going to get better. Is that something that came from your heart or from your mind? Yeah, I don't think that necessarily has to happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can do it without that. Mm -hmm. well, why are you have? Why is it that you haven't gotten better already? Because I think he's he's just starting to take responsibility, mm -hmm. like for stuff that needs to be done with the kids mm -hmm. like he he wants to have fun but he, he needs to learn responsibility mm -hmm. he's always wanted to have fun and my mom's always so serious and so responsible so it's the opposite mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. your mom needs to have more fun and your dad needs to be more responsible yeah not with the money his mom's got that covered mm -hmm. but he just needs to be more responsible and with kids. Mm -hmm. With kids. Okay. So what is it that Trey was supposed to learn from all of this? Oh, he's a good kid. He's so smart. Hmm. And I know he, he wants to play. Mm -hmm. I know he's missed out on a lot of play. But he's learned so much. And he's taught my mom so much. Mm-hmm. And I want to play with him. And I can now. We just need to do it more. Mm -hmm. We need to do more stuff together and not separate. What would you like to try, try to do more with you? He loves playing on the, the computer or the phone or the games or the, the iPad or something. Mm -hmm. The more of that, do more of that together. Because mm -hmm. I can do that too. We we do used to play games when we were little on the on my iPad. Mm -hmm. 
We need to play more games together. So you want him to initiate more games with you? Yeah. What kind of games do you like, Taylor? Uh, I don't care. Just anything where I can sit next to him because mm -hmm. he's really cool and he has good energy. Mm -hmm. But just any games that I can touch on the computer on the screen too, like on the iPad, mm -hmm. or even if I'm in his in my room watching, mm -hmm. I can just watch him play those dirt bike games. He's so good at it. Mm -hmm. He's so good at it. Mm -hmm. Are you able to communicate with him in your mind? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. He knows. What do you tell him? He knows I love him. And he knows that I'm not doing this, not staying the way I am to, to hurt him or to not want to play with him. We just got other stuff that has to happen too. Mm -hmm. Like what? Like my dad has to be more responsible. My mom has to have more fun. Okay. Yeah. So you think both of you can help them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm so mm -hmm. can we get Trey to help both of them also? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Okay, so Trey has to let, teach Mom to be more fun mm -hmm. and Dad more responsible? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. And you'll help in your own way too? Yeah. Okay. So what will it take for you to get better? <sighs> I just need to decide. Mm -hmm. so are you like I've been hanging out. Are you ready to decide now, Taylor? Yeah, I am. Okay. So let's I'm going to be driving soon. You are. I need to drive. Mm-hmm. Mom's crazy driver. Mom's Jeez. crazy driver. You want to drive yourself? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, she's safe, but she's crazy. Mm-hmm. So, Taylor, what would you like to get into your body in order for you to heal? Mm-hmm. I need more raw, raw foods. Mm -hmm. now my mom keeps getting the message for vegan, but she's not listening. She thinks it's about her, mm -hmm. and it's not. So what kind of food do you need? More raw, organic foods. Mm -hmm. She bought this book, and she keeps looking at it for herself, but not for me, on shakes. Mm -hmm. But I need them. So you want more juices? Yeah, like she used to give me. She used to juice for me. Mm -hmm. My dad just started giving me the greens, which is good. But he keeps forgetting because he's not so responsible. Okay. He keeps forgetting, but I need more of that. More green stuff. Yeah. Into your body. Okay. Yeah, more live foods. I mean, they give me live foods, but not enough. You need more mm -hmm. in order to heal. What else do you yeah. need? Yeah. What else do you need? More sunshine. Mm hmm. I go on walks. More pool. They bought. They they put the pool in, but I don't get to get in the pool that much. Okay. So what what would you like to be doing? Sitting in the sun more or in the pool? Yeah, the swimming in the pool. That's what they got the pool for. Okay. I need to get in the pool more. What else do you need to get better? Um. It'd be nice if my grandparents visited. Mm-hmm. But I don't have to have that happen. But it'd be nice. Mm-hmm. Well, these are all things that you want, but we want to be able to heal your body completely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So let's do something right now, Taylor. You can pick any part of the body that you want healed now. What would you like to heal? My brain. Mm-hmm. Like I need a cosmic download. All right. So we can do that, Taylor. We can go to any time and pick those those brains up. Now when you were four years old your brain was totally healthy wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. So you can travel through time and space now. And I want you to go back into that time when your brain was developing. It was fully functional. You were talking up a storm, walking, riding, can you see that brain? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I know, my cowgirl boots. And your cowgirl boots. Okay, so mm -hmm. I want you to go back into that time now. And I want you to retrieve all, everything that you need from that brain to bring it into your brain now. 
This is like using your own stem cells. What an idea. Mm -hmm. So let's take all of that that you need from that little body that was developing, that was totally healthy, and take it and bring it into this body now. And it should quickly acclimate to this body. And tell me what's happening. This feels like it's sinking in. Mm -hmm. So let's activate mm -hmm. those cells now. Activate them with your energy. Fire them up. And tell me what's happening. Um, feels like a big light, like vortex just shot off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. Now all of that excitement that you had as a four-year-old that was working mm -hmm. with all of the information that your body was receiving on how to function is now going through your body. It's rewriting the program. I used to dance all the time. Mm -hmm. And sing. I have my guitars, a lot of them. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to do that now. Mm -hmm. So tell me what's happening as that brain is firing up. Um, feels like there's like there's like a lot of connections. Mm -hmm. Let's build those connections up again. Let's fire them up. All of those nerve cells. Fire each and every one of them up again. Light them up. Like they're talking to each other. Mm -hmm. Put some excitement in there, Taylor. Yeah, they need to have more fun. Mm -hmm. Tell them how much fun it's going to be when you start dancing again. And how much fun it is when you're going to start driving. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. So tell me what's happening in your brain. I can see myself in the family room dancing. Mm -hmm. Can even get you some cowboy boots. Yeah. I'm wearing shorts, jean shorts. Mm -hmm. So tell me everything that you see. I'm just being silly. Mm -hmm. And... I'm littler than I'm supposed to be, but I'll grow. Okay. I'll catch up. So just grow yourself into the age where you feel most comfortable, knowing that you'll be able to grow more and more. And tell me anything else in your body that you need fixing. Um, maybe some stuff with my back. Mm-hmm. Like it got kind of messed up over the years. Mm -hmm. All right, so you know what to do now, Taylor. Let's go back to that little body that had all of those wonderful cells. And you could take anything from that little body. These are just the cells from there. So you'll be able to use that have the same intelligence that are needed. Tell me what you're doing. Like they're just kind of transferring over, like they're mm -hmm. just jumping over. Okay. Well, tell me what happens as the cells come into your spine. Like my legs feel stronger. Mm -hmm. Feel like a normal curve, like movement, mm -hmm. like it moves. So stretch it out. Mm hmm. Yeah, like it's supposed to feel like it used to feel. Mm -hmm. So now you'll be able to sit up straight. Yeah, things are starting to like kind of fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now send all of that intelligence in there and tell, it, tell every cell exactly what it is that you want to do with them. To function properly. Mm -hmm. Tell them what you want.
I want to be able to walk around, jump, jump, do whatever I want. Sit, swim, play, ride horses with by myself. Yeah, in the meadow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have full control of what you put into your body. Talk to it. Tell it what you want. I want it to activate everything. Mm -hmm. So let's do that now. Activate all the cells throughout my entire body. So they're whole and healed. So tell me what you're feeling, Taylor. Like just a swirl of energy. Mm -hmm. Like kind of coming down my spine. Just like shooting through my own nervous system. Kind of like, okay, we'll do what you want. Yeah. How do you feel now? Like there's that piece at the tailbone. Mm -hmm. It's my mom and dad. Tell me about that. Like the the stronger their marriage is, the more fun they have. Mm -hmm. Then that'll be perfect. Like that feels perfect. Mm -hmm. But Taylor, it seems to me that you're kind of holding your family hostage with your feelings. That if they're not acting right, you're not going to heal. Mm. Yeah, that's probably not real good. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Is that something that you should be doing? Probably not. I think I was just, it wasn't perfect before. Mm -hmm. It wasn't good before. What about now? So much has happened. I know, everything is good. And it's really good. So are you ready to drop all of this? and become the whole complete human being that you were born to be? Yeah. Are you yeah. ready to take that responsibility now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be anybody else's. All right, so who would you like to assist you with this? I could call in Archangel Raphael, or if you have someone that you work with, let me know. No, he's good. He's the healer. Okay, so let's ask Raphael to come in now and help you. And Taylor, tell me when you see him and what it is that he does for you. He just has a great big green cloak. Mm -hmm. Just kind of covers me in it. Like kind of puts his puts me in it with him. Mm -hmm. What are you feeling? Just protected and whole and happy. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So Taylor, how long would you like to take before you get totally healed again in your body? Hmm, I have to pick. Mm -hmm. Without anybody anybody else asking what time. Mm -hmm. This is your life. Do you want to heal immediately? I mean, yeah, who wouldn't? Well, it has to be your choice. Don't you think everybody kind of freak out? Well, that's why, <laughs> that's why your mom came here today, and your brother, to make this happen. This is how your mom was going to write all her books and help other people. Wouldn't you like to be a part of that? Yeah. And go with her and have yeah. fun with her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's up to you, Taylor. Are you ready to release all of this and be the girl that you were born to be? What's Trey think? Trey, what do you think? Are you ready to have Taylor be the girl that she should be? Go ahead and tell her what you think. You want her to heal now or later? Did you hear him, Taylor? Yeah. What do you want to tell Trey? I want to play with him. Mm -hmm. I want to do fun stuff with him. I want to watch him ride his dirt bikes.
Mm-hmm. I'm tired of sitting in the chair. Okay. So Trey wants you to heal right away. You ready to make miracles happen? Yeah, I can do it. Okay. I'm ready. Okay, good. Good. Is there anything else that you need, Taylor, to make this happen? No, I accept it. Thank you. That's very good. So, Taylor, thank you very much for your assistance here today. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I want you to fire up all of those cells in your body, activate them, and whenever you need any more, you can go back again to that little body of yours that was had all of those cells, and you can pick them anytime you need. Is that a deal? Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. May the light of the universe accompany you. Make miracles happen. Take a deep breath in. And let me speak with the higher self again. Stacy's higher self. Okay. Thank you very much for that. For allowing that. Thank you for your assistance. Mm -hmm. From your perspective, how does she look now? She looks fun. Mm -hmm. She looks happy. I saw her just sitting there on the edge of the pool. Mm -hmm. She's still not sure about the water. Trey's always been the daredevil. Mm -hmm. But she'll play with him. She'll get in. Wonderful. Wonderful. Would you take a moment now to do a scan now on Stacy's body and tell me how it looks? She's taking care of herself. Mm -hmm. She's giving it the right food, doing what she's supposed to be doing. Wonderful. Wonderful. And um, would you check her aura and tell me if it's intact? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks good. And what about her chakras? Would you take a look at all of her chakras and see if they're all balanced? Yeah, they look like they're all beaming pretty bright right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, would you do a scan and see if she has any implants, either physical or astral? Yeah, she's had some of those before. Okay. Usually she catches on pretty quick, but sometimes she doesn't. Last year she had a big one she didn't catch. Mm -hmm. And it affected her for a good part of the year. How does she look now? Um, Is she clear? Yeah, I think she looks clear. Okay. Good. Yeah. Is there anything that I could have asked that I should ask now? Um. No. No, I'm scanning the people. I don't see anything. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay. So I'd like to thank you for all of the help and information you've given us today here. Thank you. This was cool. Mm -hmm. Is there anything mm -hmm. that you would like to tell me or tell ter Trey? Hmm. Thank you, Trey, for waking me up to this world years ago. When I didn't listen to Sissy. I just didn't know. so smart. Thank you. I appreciate you and everything you do every day. I love you. And thank you for assisting me in this. This was really, really cool to be a part of. Mm -hmm. And to have Stacy, me, get to experience it. Mm -hmm. It's like the cherry on top, icing on the cake. Super cool. Very good. Well, thank you for your assistance. Wide mm -hmm. awake.
wide awake, feeling wonderful all mm. over. How are you feeling? Good. How much do you remember? I think all of that. Mm -hmm. When did you feel that you felt hypnotized? I could feel um, a very different sensation that I've never felt before. Mm -hmm. Like my whole body was not physical. Everything was very slushy. Mm. But not slushy, very fluid. Mm -hmm. Very fluid. I could feel very fluid. Really? Mm -hmm. What about your past lives? How did they feel? I, yeah, I remember all of that. All of it. Did yeah. you feel the emotions to it? Um, no, it didn't. I don't like mm -hmm. no. Mm. Like I was there, as in there, but as an observer still okay. too. Okay. And what about your higher self? How did that feel? That was cool. <laughs> that was really cool. That's why sometimes I was laughing. I'm like, oh my god, it's hilarious. Mm -hmm. This is really cool. What that about cool. the part with with your daughter? Um, that was neat to connect with her. Mm -hmm. That was really neat. Did you feel a total different personality come through? Oh yeah, she was more playful and mm -hmm. sassy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but more mature and older. Mm -hmm. So she said that she she wanted you to have fun. Yeah. And she wanted her dad to be more responsible. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see what happens now mm -hmm. out of it. Do you recommend mm -hmm. this experience to other people? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Would you feel that this is something that you want to share with others? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll be on the phone telling my friends. <laughs> yeah, I'll be like, when's the next flight down? <laughs> Would you like to share the video with others? I can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. So how you feel? Good? Real good, yeah. Excellent. Real good, thank you.